Hello and welcome back to Music with Gigi and this is a special Lenten edition and so it's a special episode. I invited my friend Georgie the Giraffe to come back. Hello, how you doing? So good to see you all. Want to give a special shout out to Johnny and Natasha in Cincinnati, Ohio. Also want to say hello to Olga, Olga and Elias and Lazar from Austin, Texas. You know Miss Gigi's from Texas too. And one more shout out to Julian, Isaac, and Nico from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Thanks for listening. Well, it's so good to see you, Georgie. It's been a long time. What's new with you? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm really mad at Owly. You're mad at Owly? What did Owly do? He's so mean. He's always flying around during the day. He's not even supposed to be awake during the day. And he bumps into me. Who? Who? Are you talking about me? Yeah, I'm talking about you, Owly. You keep bumping into me. I am so very, very, very sorry, Giraffe. I didn't mean to do. I have big wings. Yeah, but you're supposed to only fly at night. You're nocturnal. Can you share the daylight with me, my friend? I don't know. I'll think about it. It's just that your neck, it really creeps me out. You, you mean the fact that I can spin my neck all the way around? Yes, that's really weird. Hey, Georgie. It's okay that he can do that. You have a different neck, too. He doesn't make fun of your neck, does he? No, I guess he doesn't. I think you two need to talk about your feelings and maybe ask each other for forgiveness. Yeah, you really hurt my feelings when you said that about my neck all the time making fun of me. Well, uh, I, I don't know how to ask for forgiveness. Well, Georgie, it's really easy. You just, I want you to put your arms on, well, you can't put your arms on your chest, but I want you to bow your head. You can do that. Bow your head and say to him, uh, Owly, will you please forgive me, okay? Let's practice. Owly, will you please forgive me? Oh, I will forgive you, my friend. God forgives. Let me put my arms here, you see? Thank you. And I like how Ali said God forgives. Ali, can you ask for forgiveness too? Georgie, will you please, please forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you, Ali. Uh, and God forgives you too. I am so glad that you were such a great example to our friends at home on how to ask for forgiveness from each other. Why don't you go play with each other and have a great afternoon, okay? Yeah, we'll see you later, guys. Okay, goodbye, my friends. Well, I am really glad that they came today because we're going to talk about forgiveness. You know, it's the eve of Great Lent, and the church comes together and celebrates a forgiveness, a forgiveness vespers. And so the eve of Great Lent, you know, we all come together, and whether you go to church or maybe you do it at home, I really recommend to do it in church if you can, but if not, you can do it with your family members. Just put your arms on your chest. You should all do this, okay? And just go in front of your brothers, your sisters, your parents, your friends, whoever, and you can bow before them and say, will you please forgive me? And then um, hopefully they'll tell you, I forgive you, God forgives, and you do it for each other. I forgive you, God forgives, and thank God, God forgives. We say in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And God doesn't ask us to do anything that he didn't do. You see this icon behind me? It's the icon of Christ being crucified. Innocent, sinless, blameless, was nailed to a tree, stripped, naked, and broken, and he stood there, hung there, and said to his father, forgive them, father, for they know not what they do. Now, if our God could forgive those who did that to him, the sinless one, how much more shall we forgive those? We sinners, we should forgive as well. And besides that, it's too hard to hold on to a grudge. It takes too much work. God will forgive us the way we forgive others. So that's the name of this first song. It's called Forgive. <laughs> When I hold a grudge in my heart It weighs heavy against me, pain inside What good does it do? Let us embrace one another We are sisters and brothers For in as much as we forgive We shall be forgiven let go of hate and heal your heart Now it's time 
to start living. Forgive, forgive, forgive. It's the only way to live. Forgive one another. God forgives us all our sins with His mercy and His grace. We are called to do the same and see our Lord in each other's face. If on the cross our Lord forgave those who hung Him on that tree, there's no excuse for us who sin but to do the same as He. Forgive, forgive, forgive. It's the only way to live. Forgive one another. All right, we got to forgive each other. Just like Georgie, the giraffe, and Owly, um, if somebody hurts you, we forgive. We don't want to keep getting hurt by the same person. We got to try to stop doing that. But God said, you know, when someone asked him, how many times do I forgive my brother? Seven times? And God said 70 times seven, which doesn't literally mean that. 400 and, wait, seven times seven is 49. 400 490 times. Did I say that right? I'm a math teacher. Don't tell my students I'm thinking about that. Um, but yeah, he means just we always forgive. We don't um, want to continually hurt our brothers and sisters in Christ. The next thing we're gonna sing about today is the Eve of Great Lent. We actually remember something really weird. I mean, it's kind of odd, but at Cheese Fair Forgiveness Vespers, we remember when Adam, you know, Adam and Eve, gets kicked out of the garden. He gets kicked out of paradise. It's a really rich song. It's called The New Adam. Now, the words to the song are a little bit deeper than the normal words that we would use uh, for some of the children's songs, but I wanna just highlight a few parts because Christ is the new Adam. In the beginning, God breathed life into Adam. He made him, he gave him paradise. He opened the gates of paradise for him, but he and Eve banished from the kingdom, from the, from the garden, and now he's sitting there outside of the garden and the church hymn says, he's begging, he's saying, oh, holy paradise, I beg you, he's begging, uh, he says, I beg thee, implore him that I may contemplate the flowers of thy garden. And so he sat naked and wailing outside the gates. And he says, woe is me, the robbed one. Woe is me, have mercy upon me. And Christ says to him, not you should stay out of the garden. I don't want you in my kingdom. He says to him, I desire your salvation. And he, Christ, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. In John chapter one, we read that he took on flesh. He died for our salvation so that we could have life. He was naked and broken. Not like, kind of like Adam, but in a different way. They placed a crown of thorns on him. They dishonored him. But Christ, the new Adam, rose from the dead and gave us life. He opened unto us the gates of paradise. And the gates of paradise were opened because of those gates of repentance. Repentance is key. So this song, the new Adam, and the song we just sang, Forgave, or Forgive, comes from Fight the Good Fight. It's an album that you cannot buy anymore by CD, but you can listen to it from Spotify, iTunes, or go to YouTube, Fight the Good Fight, and uh, look up the name of the song. There's several songs on that, on that uh, album. So this one's called The New Adam. Let's sing it together. Here we go. Listen to the words. Oops, work for me. There we go. Oops, a little technical difficulty, guys. Thank you for being so patient. In the beginning, God breathed life and he made me. Said Adam in glory. The doors were opened, walking with God in the garden, naked and not ashamed, robed with light and honor, chief of all things visible. The pinnacle of creation. He opened unto me His glory, opened unto me the gates of paradise, the gates of paradise, the gates of paradise. Banished 
from Eden, Adam said to the garden, O holy paradise, I beg thee, implore him, that I may contemplate the flowers of thy garden. Verily, Adam, who said naked and willing, woe is me, the robbed one, woe is me, have mercy. And the Savior cried to him, I desire your salvation, open unto me, a sinner, open unto me, the gates of repentance. The gates of repentance, the gates of repentance. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, became flesh, and was born to die. Naked and broken, they took his garments and mocked him. Crown of thorns, dishonor, Christ the new Adam. Because he died, he gave us life. He opened unto me, a sinner opened unto me. The gates of paradise. The gates of paradise, the gates of paradise. He opened unto me, a sinner opened unto me. The gates of paradise, the gates of paradise, the gates of paradise. He opened unto us the gates of paradise. God bless you and your families, and I wish you a fruitful and happy and holy Lent. See you next time.